about the milk business. Oh, did she? What? Um, Dawn's... Dawn's dad. Oh, yeah. He had the milk business. What, in Clanfield? Yeah. Uh, what was that name? Under Parrot? Yeah, they took... Yeah, they took... Took it from... Uh, I think a local farmer, Pocock, I believe. Oh, might be, yeah. And uh, they took it and they built up. When I first That'd be Ernie Pocock's dad, would it? Or Ernie yeah, Pocock? Ernie, uh, Ernie Pocock. Oh, Ernie, yeah. And then there wasn't enough. I was getting less money than I was earning at Morris's when I first started it. So what I did then. I used to do the milk in the morning and odd jobs in the afternoon. And what in the afternoon? Odd jobs. Odd jobs, yeah. What sort Gardening. of jobs? Gardening. Oh, yeah. And I went to Ravens at um, Pilkins. He had a... Chicken place, wasn't chicken. it? Chicken. Yeah. He made chicken houses. Yeah, yeah. And I went there as a wood machine then. Oh, yeah. In the afternoon and I had an accident and cut my hand. Did you? Oh, didn't know about that. Well, you cut your finger off. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit and painful then. Finished me. There. Yeah. So, uh, and you were just doing the milk in Clamfield then, were you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Clamfield and Calmsville. Oh, Clamfield and Calmsville, yeah. yeah. Everybody used to buy milk then. Mm. Day. Yeah. You, you had a, a very good rain. And then we had. How many sort of points were you doing in a rain then? Well, we got it up to about 600 Did you? a day. Well, I mean, that's a lot of milk, isn't it? Yeah. Then you expanded to other villages, did you? Or? No, I just stuck to Clamfield. They were building houses everywhere. Mm. Then, you know. So, of course, it gradually grew. So it's Roger that expanded it into the other villages, is it? You didn't do that? No, I did in... Uh, in the 60s, just early 60s, I came up, up to Blackmorton and uh, Alberscott and got it going there. And then it grew and grew. More and more people came over to me because uh, Stokes from uh, Burford was doing it, but he didn't do a very good service. And of course, they switched to me. And so, well, you get the milk from Farringdon, do you? You used to get it from uh, Cameron's at Farringdon, yeah. He, he was a Scotsman. And he came down here and set this business up in Farringdon. And he, of course, in them days, when I first started, it was I used to get it from uh, Wilmer's Farm. Yeah. In, in in churns, uh, and then they used to, have to what their own product was it? Yeah, they 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 used to do it, and it was in in uh, two or three gallon ca uh, churns. They I used to fetch them in the morning, and then who bottled them up then? We didn't have a bottle when we first started. Oh, I see. Um, and he went round to the door with the churn, the two gallon, and bailed it out with them. Into what? Into their, they used to put jugs Oh, out. I see, yeah, yeah. Well, do you have a sort of a gallon container to bail yeah, it out? Yeah, well, I had a two gallon bucket thing. Yeah. And, uh, and used to bail it out of there. And I expected a little drop extra, because, you know, when you took the... They, everybody expected a little drop extra. Oh, did they? <laughs> to make, because they thought you didn't fill the jug up enough. Yeah, so what do you do it out in a pint container? Um, for, take it out, you have a pint con ladle, did you, or what? Yeah. A pint ladle, to ladle a, it out. A pint and a half a pint. Cause you, people used to buy half pints in them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then, then Cameron came to Farringdon and he was touting for business and he came and saw me and said he could do bottles for me. And then, he, then he used to deliver the bottles each day already. 
Because were you doing it the same t when Charlie Edmonds used to do it and Elvis got, used to go around with the milk? Yes, I went round. He used to go around his bike, didn't he? Yeah, I took him, um, when I came up into Blackburn, Charlie came to me and asked me if I wanted his round. Oh yeah. But he said he was going on and he didn't want it, so I uh, took it. Oh, I see, I thought that was it, yeah. And, uh, of course, that was a bit made the business bigger, but I didn't go anywhere else until a bit later. Then I went to Blackmorton for about a couple of people. Before I knew it, I got the whole village. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. And uh, when did Roger come into it then? He didn't come in it, into it. Uh, he used to, he used to do it for me. Uh, in the hot, so I could have a holiday. But uh, he worked for my brother. Uh, so when, when, did, when did you actually turn it from a part-time job into a full-time job? Then did that. Uh, oh, yeah, about, uh, that was when you took Alves and Blackburton, was yeah. it? Yeah. And it was a fairly good round. I didn't do anything, and then I packed up when I had the accident at the Ravens. I packed up. Oh, I see. Oh, that was when you packed up, was it? Packed up the, the wood machine. Yeah. But you carried on with the mill? Yeah, carried on with the mill. Yeah. That was a bit difficult with one hand, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, my wife used to help me. Oh, Dawn, did she? Yeah, she helped me. Um, used to go around with me, and then she then I bought a second car, and she used an estate car. And I used a van. We used to do it between them. What time do you start in the morning then? Well, we used to start about six o'clock. Oh, no, I thought it was earlier than that. No. But, uh, and that lasted up to what? To one or two o'clock? Yeah, lunchtime, yeah. yeah. Dinner time or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And, uh, we, um, and, but we also uh, bought the paper business. And my mother-in-law, she owned the paper business. And I used to deliver the two together, the newspapers and milk. Oh, that was handy, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I expect you uh, had some amusing incidents over the years, haven't you? Can you think of any? Oh, so, yes, I can remember uh, going to Mr Winfield, who lived in the cottage at the back of the... Mason's Arms, they, um, I went there one morning and I always used to open the door and put the milk inside and I went there one morning and he was sat in the chair and I thought he was asleep and I spoke to him and didn't answer and I went over to him and he was dead. Oh God. <laughs> he died sitting in the chair. And on another occasion, I was um, at Calm Scott, and a Mr. James was talking to me in the garden. And uh, the next thing I knew, he toppled over, and he dropped down with a heart attack, and he died. <laughs> well, you always hear stories about these uh, housewives chasing after milkmen. Did you get any of that? No. Nope. <laughs> No. You're not going to say if you did, are I you? I think that was all a, a bit of a false tale. Oh, was it? Yeah. How old were you when you packed up the round then? 65, yeah. But you've still been doing it ever since, really, haven't you? You've yeah. been helping out. And I, he said he, he could manage, then he found he couldn't manage, because it was getting bigger and bigger all the time, building more houses everywhere. Mm. So really, what are you, 86 now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm 86. And up till last year, you've been getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning yeah, every morning? every morning I was there at Clamfield at 5 o'clock, except Sundays. It kept you fit anyway, didn't it? Yeah. And I was very fit. I've never had an illness in my life. Yeah, I expect you miss it a bit now, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So we do. Yeah. I don't miss getting up. No. It's meeting people, I expect, and, yeah. and getting out and about, yeah.